know, the study that we did, especially in this Asia retirement series, you know, has a lot to do, a lot of key observations here are with people know that they, they, they need to do some planning. They know that, that gaps exist in what can be a financially secure retirement. I guess the question is, how can we as, as actuaries, as insurance and financial services providers, you know, minimize those gaps or mitigate those gaps? 54% um, of the people that we talk to certainly regret their delaying of retirement planning. They're very focused on you know, what they're doing today. Retirement seems to be you know, some concept that's way in the future, but they know that they need to start doing something now and you can't just catch up over the last five or 10 years and expect to have a secure retirement. So knowledge I think is out there. It's just like getting action to, to happen following that knowledge is a, is a key focus. Um, sometimes we focus specifically on that concept of life expectancy. And I'm always keen at times to just toss that word out the window and, and start replacing the concept of life expectancy in our vocabulary with this dialogue that, that really focuses on preparing. We've uh, written some articles, maybe we've even coined a term called life preparancy age. You know, what should, what age should I be preparing to live to in retirement? And that's a different concept than life expectancy. Life expectancy might say, well, you know, here's like the average age at which people my age will live to in retirement. But if I use that as a planning goal, I'm, I'm almost guaranteed that, you know, half the time uh, I'm going to be on the wrong side of that. Uh, there's many, many scenarios where I'm going to live well past my life expectancy. So, you know, as you're, as you're working with distributors or you're working with consumers, I think our insurance and financial services industry needs to focus more on the concept of life preparancy. It's an encouragement for the insurance and financial services industry to, you know, be a part or at least an extension of social system solutions. You're seeing many markets around the world realizing, like we saw in some of the early slides, that, you know, their population is aging uh, the support ratio of the number of people in the working, uh, a working ages to the people at, at elderly ages, that ratio is getting worse as time goes on. It used to be more equal. Now there's going to be many more people to support in their social system in, uh, in a retirement phase. So we focus a lot of effort, too, on what are some, what are some ways that we can evolve better the, the theory and, and the implementation of the insurance industry, you know, partnering, kind of this public partnership, public-private partnership with local governments, with local local social systems, so that there's interaction and each can kind of lean on each other. So I hope that gives you a, a quick overview. You know, a lot we could talk about this, I'm sure, for a long, long time. If you have any questions or feedback, you know, let let's connect. Certainly would point you to our website, soa.org, and look at all that our research institute has to offer, especially on our international set of research.